Well, congratulations. How are you feeling after that performance? I feel good. Um, you know, I always uh, feel some type of way when I don't get to finish. But uh, getting a win, I'm still happy. It could be worse. So getting a win, um, it feels good. Did the fight go the way that you had thought it was going to go with your opponent? Uh, he was a lot more durable than I thought, really. You know, I feel, I feel like once I started hitting him with heavy shots, then um, he was going to um, start breaking. But he was a little bit more durable than I anticipated. Did you have to change up your game plan because of that, or were you able to continue on with your game plan? Yeah, really just keep doing, keep doing what I was doing. I was expecting maybe a second-round finish, but, you know, he was able to uh, uh, endure um, the fight and made it a little tougher than I thought. Is there a little bit more pressure coming into a fight when you're coming off of a loss, or is that more motivation? <laughs> it, it's, it's, it goes both ways, really. Um, of course, you don't want to go on a two-fight skid, and I've been there before. You don't want to do that, and um, and and so you're extra. Little, you're a little more extra motivated just to uh, get the win, just to get back on track. And you've started out the year now on a win. When would you like to get back in there? Uh, I'm hoping I can get on that UFC Louisville. You know, and that's that's the hometown. So I haven't fought there since my pro debut. So I'm hoping I can get on that. That's probably like six, seven weeks or something. So. Um, I'm going to stay training and I'll let these scratches heal up and I'll be ready to go. Do you have an opponent you'd like to fight on that card? Whoever. Give me somebody top. Whoever. Give me 15. Give me 14, 13, 10. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. I just want somebody who can uh, uh, help me pack the house. What would it mean for you to be able to fight on that card? <laughs> it's it's a, like all my, my granddad and all my loved ones and everything that can't get out here to Vegas. They'd be able to make it, so it it it'll mean a lot to me. Thank you. Yeah. Congrats on the win, my man. You mentioned with Amy that you'll feel some type of way not getting that finish. I'm sure you know big man heavyweights they want those big knockouts, but isn't it kind of also like the evolution of your game that you are more patient in there? Uh, when you hurt him, you didn't just try to pounce and, and and try to finish him and then not have that gas anymore. You are progressing and you are becoming more well-rounded. Yeah, it just ain't nothing like a finish. I mean, you know, <laughs> you get your, you get the win, and I, and I'm happy with the win, but ain't nothing like a finish. You know, and, and sitting back just hoping that you can get the bonus. You know, that's the main thing. Uh, getting that finish, putting on a good performance for the bosses and everybody, the fans, and uh, let them know I'm, I'm on my way up. Absolutely. And speaking of on your way up, I've seen your conditioning improve. You're able to have that good output, that good pace rounds one two and three uh do you think that puts people on notice that he's not just the you know like that big bomb in the first round and that's it that you, we, we gotta watch you for all 15 minutes <laughs> yeah they better i mean if if they ain't on notice then they're gonna be in trouble when they fight me because i'm gonna be there the whole fight you know and and i'm trying to get them out of there from from the bell absolutely if you if we don't get that card you want in a couple of weeks what what else do you want to do for 2024 what what are we looking at for this year in the, the big picture um Maybe if, if I can't get on that car, maybe uh, uh, International Fight Week or something like that, you know. That's another big car. Uh, but, yeah, i really like to get on that, on that home car. But, uh, yeah, if, just put me on a good car, like, you know, give me a nice opponent. They know I'm game. That's awesome, man. So I'm assuming you weren't bagged up at all. If you could come back and do Nah, yeah, I got a few scratches, but I'm good, yeah. And he, he took a last for me. He took a big shot from you, just a clean one. You mentioned how, how durable and tough he was that surprised you. I, even I was shocked. I'm like, wow, like he still, you know, like has that work with all to maybe throw something in a, like a submission attack. But what, did you kind of have to step back and, and re, like re adjust and say, <laughs> oh, man, this dude, is, he's still there. Holy cow, I didn't, I didn't take him out. Well, I've been used to it now. I've been, I've been fighting Brazilians for a while now. You know what I'm saying? I've fought like four or five Brazilians now, and they all come tough. So, you know, uh, I, I was expecting it, but I expect them to be durable. But, uh, you know, I hit them with some clean shots. I'm like, well, why don't you stay now? You know, but other than that, you know, I'm going to just keep pounding away, really. Was there anything that he came with that you're like, all right, Monday morning, I'm, I'm going to catch that tape, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tweak that. we got to work on that. It went, it's more so uh, me, my game. You know, I got to uh, uh, tighten up on a few things and work with my coaches and uh, lock in on a few flaws in my game. But, uh, you know, we're going to come back, and we're going to be better than this last performance.
Awesome stuff. Congrats on the win and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Yes, sir.